our digital lives are full of content from a huge number of sources and we're often expected to understand the difference between fact and fiction or between accurate reporting and falsehoods. I'm here today outside BBC Broadcasting House. But am I really? The BBC has been working on developing a new open technology with partners from around the world, including Sony, Adobe and the European Broadcasting Union that will help people understand securely where the content they're watching comes from. It's called C2PA, or more specifically, content credentials, and it works similarly to secure connections your web browser uses when browsing websites. We're testing it right now in this video. If you have a device that supports it, you should be able to see the details of whether this video was captured by a real camera, who published it, and critically, whether it was manipulated by someone else. In the future, we should start seeing where, when, and how this content was produced as well. This should help you make your own decisions about content you see. It's not about whether you should trust a particular publisher. That's up to you. It's about giving you the facts you don't normally have and securing them against anyone trying to manipulate them. I'm standing outside the BBC right now, but what if this segment was added into the video after it was published? Your device should be warning you now, letting you know it's been manipulated. We're going to go on a bit further now. This shot you're watching was filmed on a real camera, and you can corroborate that by checking the content credentials. But what happens if we use an AI model to change the background? Now, I'm in a forest, or am I? We're using Runway's LEF model to combine the footage of me taken from a camera with an entirely fabricated background. And if your content and your player support C2PA, you should be able to tell. Look at the content credentials to see how they've changed. You should see something like AI generated or modified. And I've moved again. Now I'm in a desert. The quality of this manipulation is un canny and it's getting better and easier for anyone to use day by day and while these tools have some great creative uses the technology can also be used to deceive so next time you're looking at content on the internet see if it supports c2pa it's early days and most of the mark content you'll see comes from ai services along with a label letting you know it's been ai generated but we might just be getting closer to a world where most of the content you see can be traced back to its original source